So imagine going into a sushi restaurant and trying to eat a whole entire tuna roll at one time, not chopped up or anything, not put on a plate. Let's just say you tell the sushi chef, I want to eat a whole entire tuna roll just at one time. Probably going to get some weird stares and people are probably not going to be calling you back to eat sushi anymore because you need to chop up your sushi. And arrays and strings are the same exact way. Very rarely are you ever going to get an array that is in its perfect state that you can use. You're gonna have to chop it up, you're gonna have to slice it, you're gonna have to splice it, and that's what we're talking about today. So, if you don't understand anything about slice, and slice is very complex to you, just use the slice with the two parameters. You can do really fancy slices with all this stuff right here with just one parameter and just a negative. You can put negative numbers. You can even put nothing in there. But a lot of this stuff for the beginner is going to be really advanced. So let's just talk about good old two parameter slice. So if you want to slice an array, we have an array of our favorite lizards up here. Uh, feel free to choose whatever type of lizards that you want to, but I've got a bearded dragon, a salamander, and a null, and an iguana. A nulls, I don't really like a nulls. I think that they're basic, they're everywhere, and I don't like iguanas either because iguanas are kind of dangerous, and they have tails that they can hit you with. So let's just say that I want to get rid of this anole and this iguana. How do I do that with a slice? We need to chop up this array. What you're going to do is you're going to have a index and you're going to have a ending index. So what we have in our slice, and I'll just kind of mark this out so we can kind of focus on the one up here. You are going to have a starting index and you are going to have an ending index. A starting index is just the way that sounds. You're going to start right here. Or depending on if you have a one here, you would start right here, depends. But here we have a zero, so we are going to be starting right here then you have an ending index. An ending index is going to count on a zero based index. So we have zero, one, two, three, and it's going to count to here. Now, if you look at that and we remade our array, our array is going to have the null in it. You would think, but that's not how slice works. Slice works by having it so that the two is not going to be included. So even though you have a two and the index is actually going to count to two, it does not include the two. And that is the whole entire idea behind slice. You are going to have a starting index. You're going to count over on a zero based index all the way to the number, but not including the number. That is probably one of the most important parts. Just remember, it does not include the ending number. And if you can remember that, not including the ending number, congratulations, you have just mastered the slice. The slice is now in your toolkit. So let's talk about the difference between a slice and a splice. We've already talked about a slice. If you were to use a slice and we were to use the example that we just had up here, what is going to happen is that it's going to return a copy. Just think slice, and there are some other minuscule differences, but just remember a slice is a copy. You are not going to be actually altering the original array. If you use a slice, this array up here is going to be exactly the same. Down here, you will actually get the array without the bearded dragon and the salamander. So this actual variable right here will have the copy. But if you actually log the array up here, it's not going to have the array that applied the slice to it. But a splice is a total opposite. The splice is going to be the total opposite of a, of a slice in the fact that you are going to be actually modifying the original array. So if I apply a splice, and I apply the zero and the two, and I get rid of my anole and I get rid of my iguana, what's going to happen is that this is going to be changed as well too. So we will have the values of the actual anole and the iguana, and the original array will be altered itself. 
Which one is better? I'm going to go with Slice. I think that Slice is going to be more likely the case that you are going to use because it's not going to modify the original array and it's more functional. It's more uh, appropriate for the functional paradigm of programming, which you don't need to know a lot about right now because you're a beginner. But just realize that more often than not, you will probably see a Slice over a Splice, but it is important to know the difference. And it's a good way to understand the differences and what immutability is and what mutability is. And let's actually hop into the terminal and we are going to practice a couple of these and I'm going to show you visually the difference between a slice and a splice. So now we are in Chrome DevTools. If you don't know how to get to Chrome DevTools, basically just open your browser. So I've got my browser open right here. And then what you want to do is you want to right click and you want to go to inspect and that will bring up your Chrome DevTools. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and declare a array of my favorite lizards and I actually have the example right here because I was practicing earlier. And let's just go through and practice a couple slices. And I think the best thing to do whenever you're learning slice and splice is to just go into here and play around and see how you can actually manipulate it. So zero two, and in this example, I get, to, this is the example that I had on the whiteboard. We want to get rid of our anole and our iguana. So if I put in a zero and a two, as you can see here, it does exactly what I want. But if I want to, I can just go through here. I can go four, I can go five. I can test, play around with it. And then here is also a great place to where we can practice actually just putting in one input and just notice what happens when you put in one input. So if I just put in a one, the bearded dragon will go away. If I put in a two, the actual salamander will go away. And now all that we have left is our anole and our iguana. Let's just say you're a big anole and iguana guy and you really just want that anole and the iguana in there. Uh, you can go ahead and you can do that. Let's just say you're a big iguana fan. It's kind of weird. I think iguana, if you're really a big iguana fan, not gonna judge, but that is sort of weird, but whatever you're into, I don't really care. All right, so slice, I think we get the whole entire idea of one and two parameters, but now let's talk about uh, negative parameters. So you can also have a negative. And what it's doing is it's just going back. So if you go negative one, now we just have our iguana, we have negative two, negative three, negative four. And another important thing to really realize is that most people are not going to be able to look at a slice and a splice and be able to intuitively tell the number. So most people are just gonna have to bite the bullet and go into the actual Chrome Dev Tools and just go in here and start fiddling with it. And that's like the whole entire idea of it. But let's go ahead and let's talk about splice. Let's talk about splice watch what happens when I do a splice. So if I go zero two, or let's just do a, so let's just do a slice versus splice example. So back to the example of the anole and the iguana. Let's just say I want to get rid of the anole and the iguana, and I just want a bearded dragon and a salamander. I go ahead and I press enter on this, and let's go ahead and log out our favorite lizards. And as you can see, the array has not changed at all, but if I do a splice, let's just say I want to do a splice on this. So I go splice and I go zero two. What's going to happen is I will get back the bearded dragon and the salamander. And if I log the actual array, watch what happens. The actual original array has changed. And that is the whole entire idea behind slice versus splice and immutability and mutability. That is amazing. And if you stay to the end and you can conceptually actually understand that, that is going to help you a ton in your software development career. Anyway, that's my video for today. Hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. As always, thank you for watching.